Hey guys, welcome to Moving On TV. This is the news flash. It's going out to every woman. Now listen to me. Ladies, our temperature fluctuates all the time when we have periods. Um, you know, we've all got thyroid disorders because of the rubbish. Sorry, just me. Because of the rubbish in the air. We've all got thyroid disorders because we've got imbalances. Now, if you want to check your thyroid, this is leading to something, okay? You've got to do a basal test and you're going to find your temperature is going to go up and down, up and down, all, all the time. It doesn't mean that you've got COVID. It means that you're a woman and you're human. So I've got this beautiful lady here that contacted me and told me about an experience she went through when she went to have her blood pressure checked. Okay, so we're going to call her Miss X. Okay, and I'm going to ask her a couple of questions. So how are you today, sweetheart? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Um, just wanted to get this story out so people try and wake people up about this COVID. It's, it's just, it's madness, absolute madness. Mm -hmm. I suffer with high blood pressure. I have done for years and years. It runs in the family. Um, the doctors are aware of this. I've been in hospital before because of my blood pressure being high. They just want to do an ECG and just, just check up and make sure it's all okay. So I go in there this particular time, I think it was about two, three weeks ago now. I phoned 111 and um, I said, oh, I've got pains in my chest. I feel a bit hot. Um, taking my blood pressure and it was quite high. So they said, you need to go and get checked out just to make sure your heart's okay. So um, they phoned the hospital to say that I'm on my way. So I get there and go into a cube, get called into this like little cubicle where you get test, sort of assess, assessed and things like that. And said, oh yeah, blood pressure's really sky high. You've got a bit of a temperature. Um, like I said, women fluctuate yeah. because of periods. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 48. Right, so you're probably going through the menopause. Yeah, I am. Which, of course, is going to cause fluctuations yes. all the time. I am going through yeah. the menopause because I've yeah. had tests from the doctor and I'm right in the middle of it. Okay, well, there you go. And then yeah. she said, I just want to go and speak to my doc the, the doctor and I'll get back to you. So she come back, she said, I've got to move you into the uh, treatment, room for, for, treatment room for COVID. And I went... You're well, kidding me! No. Because you had a little bit of a temperature. And I had, my blood pressure was high. But people are going through, get colds, hay fever. I yeah. mean, summer flu. Yeah. I mean, it used to be a normal thing. So I kicked off Goodness and said, I'm me. not going in there. Good. I said, I'm not going in there. Why, why when you know my background... That I haven't got COVID, I haven't got a cough, I haven't got a cold, I haven't got a sore throat, I haven't got whatever. What are the symptoms of COVID? Because I'm not even sure. I don't know. I think it's a uh, cough, sore throat, um, apparently temperature. They add, I think they add something on all the time. They're always putting ads, adding the symptoms. They in. add in symptoms, don't yeah, they? Yeah. Now it's everything. I think it's even if you have a tummy upset, it's COVID. Tummy upset, chest yeah. pains. I think anything. anything so if you're have, if you're actually seriously your appendix is going to burst, they will put you in. They'll that, put you in COVID. They will put you in COVID. It's, it's crazy. Okay, carry on, sweetheart. Carry so um, I refused, Mad. and they said, "Well, we can't do anything else for you. We can't give you an ECG. We can't do anything. We suggest we 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 advise you to stay and get checked out." So I thought, "I'm not having this crap." So I went outside, phoned one 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 up, and explained what had happened, and they were fuming. Absolutely. Well, hang on a second. One, one, one were fuming because of the way they treated yes. you? That's interesting. What, what did they say? They said, well, why are they putting you in a suspected um, COVID sort of ward when you're only going in with sort of chest pains and high blood pressure? Um, and I said, I'm not going back in. And they said, well, you're in your quiet rights to, but they shouldn't be doing that anyway. They have a duty of care. Can you go back in and speak to someone a bit senior? So... And at that point also, she said, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can speak to someone else senior to see what I can do. So she come back to me and said, we're going to get an ambulance out to you. Bear in mind, I was outside the hospital at A&E. They was going to get an ambulance to come to me. What well, for if you were outside see, the A&E? To see if they can put me in another department. So I oh, okay, to, to help there. you. Yes. That's but amazing. She said, she said, Unfortunately, they will just send you straight back into that area. Which hospital was this? Watford General Hospital. Okay, you need to be aware of this. Watford General Hospital. So <laughs> mad. I, she said, you need to go and get 
you need to speak to someone because I have a duty of care about this. So I said, okay then. So I went back in there and I said, I'm not happy about this. I said, but I don't feel well. I said, I want to get myself checked out. And I wish I recorded this part of it really. This, there was a senior, I presume she was a senior sister because she had the dark blue dress. I Did you I not see her name? Didn't see That's her name. isn't it? And I said to her, I'm really not happy about this. She said, well, you really need to be checked out. It's not good, but your blood pressure that high, everything else. And I said, well, I understand that. And that is why I came, because I don't feel well with pains in my chest. But I'm not being stuck into a COVID ward that suspected when I know damn well I haven't got COVID. This is insane. So the word she said to me was, please don't believe everything the media says. Oh, my God, the chief sister. Said that to me. Oh, I can't. I need to get her on. That, do you see, guys? Do you see what's happening here? You've got nurses in there that either have completely misinformed or, you know, you get these little dare I say it, little um, pompous little people that uh, just don't know what they're talking about, watching the media, and then you get the chief nurse who's got a brain, and she says to her, don't believe what the media is telling you. Of course, believe what I'm telling you, moving on TV, but not the mainstream. So how did you feel about that? Well, I've, I was at ease straight away then. As soon as she said that, I mean, I don't, I mean... I'm wide awake anyway, as you put it. I, I, I'm not believed in all of this. Yes, there's a virus, but it's not It's not what made out what it's supposed to be. So, I really, if I'm honest with you, I wasn't bothered about going on this COVID ward in a way because I know it's not It's not COVID. It's probably empty. Yeah, yeah. There's probably no one there. Um, <laughs> you should yes. have gone undercover. <laughs> yeah. So, she said, you know, and that, when she said to me, don't believe all the, all the media says, so I said, right, okay, I'm going to go into this wall, into this place, but I'm not going in actually one where the cube on the actual ward. I will sit in the corner and be done, sort of tested there. So I went in, and there was um, two elderly people in there um, that hadn't had COVID because I asked them. I said, have they been tested? And they said they 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 suspect that they haven't got COVID anyway. Um, Nobody has because it doesn't exist. And I don't think the tests are accurate anyway. So The tests don't exist. <laughs> I had an ECG, I had mm. my blood test, everything come back fine. Um, and then at the end of it there was this nurse, uh, obviously under, well, I don't know what she was, but she was under taking orders from somebody, said, oh, I'll probably contact you tomorrow about, um, about the COVID situation just to get you... Um, checked or no what was the word she said i can't remember the word she said now um was this before you spoke to the chief nurse this was after this was after she said oh that's the word she said she said oh what she said this was about before i was about to leave she said I might give you a call tomorrow someone will give you a call tomorrow about coming to the covid clinic you should have taken her name and I reported her to well the i sister. did actually find up the next day and asked mm. and i asked for well, i'll be phoning them don't worry what for general yeah so I'll i'll be reporting um, this mm. I said, you won't be doing that. I said, because I, you can contact me all you like, but I'm not coming back in because I know I've got COVID. She went, oh, okay, I think we'll leave that then. She said, but all your notes will be going to your doctors. And that was it. I said, thank you very much. And I left. Um, and then the next day I phoned up the, um, what's the complaints department? Um, I can't think what it's called, where you can get your notes. Anyway, I can't think what it is at the moment. But I phoned them up and said, I want my blood test results sent to me. I want to see all my blood test results and all the notes that was taken and everything else. So that is what I'm currently waiting for, for my notes to be sent to me, because I do believe that my white cell, white blood cell count was quite high because I've got infection somewhere. Sure. Okay. But you definitely don't have COVID. I definitely don't and they have had COVID. no right, as the, the chief nurse said to you. The chief nurse said Guys, to you. they're doing everything they can to get people in with this so-called it is a virus we know there's a virus but it's not contagious and there's no reason why a woman as i said you have the menopause <laughs> you don't have COVID, and they have no right to do this and uh, i'm just going to tell you very quickly that the track and trace have admitted admitted there was not one COVID case not one and i'm going to bring them on if you don't believe me and then the media, the lying mainstream, as that sister told you not to watch, please don't watch them. They have their bosses and they have to tell you. They get a lot of money. Did you know that? Yeah. They get a lot of money when you go in with this so-called thing. Yeah. Um, COVID thing. Uh, anyway, um, 
what the track and trace said there was not one case not one case and then the mainstream media two days later said a hundred thousand people have gone into isolation through the track and trace so you need to really start doing your research guys particularly women you know women you need to wake up they can put you in the COVID ward because of the menopause now. Yeah. They can put you in the COVID ward if you have diarrhea. Yeah. You know, you need to really do your own research. There's loads of ways you can help yourself. I'm not saying don't go to doctors, but please do your research. Make sure you know that this doctor is reputable. And if you're anything like me, contact someone like Rebecca Briggs from Biomineral Balance because she's a better doctor than a lot of them. So what would you like to say to these, anyone who's watching it now, Miss X? Um, just, be, just be very, very careful. Where, you know, if you're not feeling well, and this is the problem, people are not feeling well and they're too scared to go into hospitals, they're too scared to go to doctors. And, you know, People are, people have probably died because they haven't gone to hospital or doctors because they, they've had heart mm. problems or anything because of this COVID that's, mm. that's making people scared. I would just say just be very careful and if you don't feel well, you, you go to the doctor still if you want to go to the hospital, but you put your feet down, you know, you put your feet down and say, no, I'm not going in COVID ward, I've come for this, this or this and just stand your ground. Mm. Stand your ground and say, no, I know I haven't got COVID, so you have a duty of care to, to look after me mm, exactly that's it this is the problem you see the mainstream media have ki are killing more people yes, they're actually killing definitely, innocent definitely. people um, as I say I don't go to doctors but then you have a right to go and see a doctor you're paying for yeah, this yeah. you pay these people yeah. they have a right to take care of you there's people that's been on dialysis that have, that that have to be cancelled because of this covid so you know people are going to die of different other things because of this but of course they're going to put it down to covid every because they, they've got a thing now where you haven't um they had taken one of the um, legalization things away when you have a death certificate of saying just basically put covid, put COVID on put it COVID. so as i said guys please listen is there any way people can get in touch with you and or through us or just because they may want to make to make sure this is a real person you know we're not telling you just stories yeah, here can, we're not the mainstream media but they can contact you contact then, through me and then you yeah? give my email address okay if you contact me at moving on tv one at gmail.com i can give you the contact to miss x and then you can talk to her and find out that this is not we don't make up stories here on Moving On TV. No. We bring you the truth. And if you've got a story like this, I want it on newsflash. This goes out particularly to women. Yes. Particularly women who are going through the menopause. Yeah. You have loads yeah, of things wrong with you. Yeah. Fibro uh, fibromyalgia, yeah. arthritis, ME, all sorts of stuff yeah. that has been caused because of poisoning of the water and, and stress. Yeah. You do not have COVID. Okay, yeah. maybe one out of a million yeah. or one out of, you know, 10,000 might and it's nothing. It's less than a flu bug. Yes. It can be healed with vitamin C and, and as I said, I know people that had it. It's out in the sunshine and in nature. Exactly, and we've got a lovely butterfly. Anyway, thank you so much, sweetheart, and for telling us the story. This is a news flash coming to you from Moving On TV here. I uh, love you lots, guys, and keep watching. Uh, subscribe, share and like and come on board moving on TV.